A Mesolithic skeleton was discovered in 1903 at Ghost Cave in Cheddar Gorge, Somerset, and this has helped museum scientists paint a portrait of one of the oldest modern humans in Britain. This skeleton was nicknamed Cheddar Man. Cheddar Man lived around 10,000 years ago and is the oldest almost complete skeleton of our species, Homo sapiens, ever found in Britain. This discovery changed a lot of what scientists thought they knew. A whole lot of study was done and a cutting-edge scientific analysis shows that a Briton from 10,000 years ago had dark brown skin and blue eyes. Researchers from London's Natural History Museum extracted DNA from Cheddar Man. A University College London team analysed the genome and the results were used for a facial reconstruction. Selena Brace, who worked closely on Cheddar Man, explains that the cool conditions in Ghost Cave, along with the presence of natural mineral deposits, helped preserve his DNA. The biggest surprise, perhaps, is that some of the earliest modern human inhabitants of Britain may not have looked the way you might expect. No prehistoric Britain of this age had previously had their genome analysed, therefore, it underlines the fact that the lighter skin characteristic of modern Europeans is a relative recent phenomenon. Subsequent examinations have shown that the man was short by today's standards about 5 feet 5 inches or about 1.6 meters and probably died in his early 20s. Scientists say he is just one person but also indicative of the population of Europe at the time. And it seems that pale eyes entered Europe long before pale skin or blonde hair, which didn't come along until after the arrival of farming. Cheddar Man belonged to a group of hunter-gatherers who had migrated out of Africa through the Middle East to Britain through continental Europe and over the now flooded land bridge Doggerland that connected the two. When he was first found, there were claims that Cheddar Man was the long-sought earliest Englishman with exaggerated dates of 40,000 to 80,000 years. But subsequent radiocarbon dating from the 1970s onwards suggests he lived around 10,000 years ago. Besides dark skin and pale eyes, what caught the eyes of the discoverers was the unusual cave burial. His feet were curled up underneath him and he was recovered from sediment but it wasn't clear whether he had been buried or just covered in sediment over time by natural mineral deposits in the cave. So they added that he could have been special or he may have just curled up and died there. So you may ask if you're related to Cheddar Man. Well, modern day British people share approximately 10% of their genetic ancestry with the European population to which Cheddar Man belonged but they aren't direct descendants. Current thinking is that the Mesolithic population that Cheddar Man belonged to was mostly replaced by the farmers that migrated into Britain later. Another question that you may ask is how did they determine the skin colour? The answer, according to the researchers, is they were able to extract enough information from Cheddar Man's DNA to run it through a forensic tool that predicts differences in the level of skin pigmentation in modern world populations. The results indicated that Cheddar Man's skin pigmentation was most likely in one of the two most highly pigmented of five categories, dark or dark to black, and definitely not in the lightest categories. According to the researchers, they say that this discovery reminds us that we can't make assumptions about what people looked like in the past based on what people look like in the present and that the pairings of features we are used to seeing today aren't something that's fixed. They also said that determining skin colour is only a minor part of the project and that they are looking more broadly at how dietary changes and exposure to pathogens influenced populations over the last 10,000 years. They added that if you can measure changes in genetic variances over time, you can catch evolution as it happens. If you want to see Cheddar Man in person, visit the Museum of Human Evolution. 
both the skeleton and the facial reconstruction are on display. That is all that we have for you guys. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.